Hey guys, Quantum Light here. Well, Primal Origin is right around the corner, and everyone's focusing and playtesting on a whole lot of decks, even old school decks. Ghost Tricks are possibly getting their last batch of the entire archetype. Oh my god, it really is called So Cute Boss. Vampires have not been forgotten. Vampire Vamp? What? Photon Galaxy is getting their true boss monster, among other support for them. And Bujan players are getting the last batch for their archetype as well. Thank God! So naturally, players start to playtest a lot of the new support along with the supporting decks, the existing ones that they already have. And it's because of that, we start to realize what we need, what we don't need, and you know, start weeding out what is not necessary anymore. But if you're like me, you probably love to think ahead. What I mean by that is the OCG imports. Now, even though we're not going to be getting them anytime soon, what I'm trying to say here is that uh, I'm more focused on the TCG build for Photon Galaxy. For all of us Photon players, this is pretty important to us. And especially considering the fact that we're running at least three different variants. There's Photon Galaxy, Photon Drain, and Photon Dupe. Now the three cards that I'm here to discuss with you guys focus on those three builds as well. But I'm seeing a lot of builds where all three of these cards are focused in just one build only. That is Photon Crusher, Photon Satellite, as well as Photon Lizard being in the Photon Galaxy deck. Now Machine Dupe and Photon Drain, they can, they can utilize them. Don't get me wrong, they can. But the problem with Photon Galaxy is that they necessarily can't. Machine Dupe, aka Photon Dupe, can utilize Thrasher, Crusher at times, mostly, going along the lines with Photon Satellite, because that is a machine, as well as utilizing Orbital 7, which is the reason why I recommended Lilybot for that build only. Now, I said before, Lilybot does have her uses in Photon Galaxy, but it's a lot slower, and I think her full potential could be shown in Photon, Photon Dupe. Photon Drain is only good for Thrasher and Crusher. Now, I'm not going to go over the names of every Photon card because, trust me, there's a handful that we really had to shred out because we knew that they were pretty useless to begin with. Now, Photon Galaxy, on the other hand, utilizes what its, name, its, what its namesake features, the Galaxy Archetype, because the Galaxy Archetype has synergy and has consistency with Photons. Photon Galaxy utilizes level 4s, level 5s, well, rank 5, actually, if you really want to be, you know, technical about it. And level 8, as well as rank 4, rank 5, and rank 8. Now, it, like that, it makes sense for Photon Satellite to be in the build. Now, don't get me wrong, I, like I've said, I have actually used Photon Satellite in Galaxy Build. It has synergy with Thrasher, mostly Thrasher, but sometimes with Crusher, as well as the Dragon, to make level 5s and level 9s. That right there is your reason to run Pallades, as well as Dyson Sphere if I'm not mistaken, even the new card that will be released in Primal Origins. Now, Crusher has the use for this build as well. It's a level 4 beater. It's also an Axolite target. Crusher is the reason the Photon Engine makes sense. Thrasher, Crusher, Galaxion, or other rank 4 whatsoever, Dragon. If not Crusher, then with Satellite, because, again, that's the same Photon Engine. But the main point of what I'm trying to make here is that do these three cards, Crusher, Satellite, and Lizard fit in the Galaxy build. All OCG imports aside, do they still fit in this deck? Are they still consistent with the with the way that the deck is supposed to be played? Once again, Crusher's a level 4 beat stick. It works well with Thrasher as well as uh, Galaxy Wizard if if um, you know it fits Revive with Galaxy Zero. If you're running Satellite then it works with it too. Hence the reason why Crusher is still used in Galaxy builds. Now, Satellite, on the other hand, that's a different story. Unlike Crusher, Satellite cannot defend itself. Now, I know what you're thinking, that Crusher can't defend itself either once it, you know, once it, um, it switches to defense after it attacks, but what it lacks, what these two lack with each other, is that, once again, Crusher is a beater, Satellite is a level manipulator, because Crusher already has his work cut out for him, with him being level 4. To me, it's no wonder that these two cards are usually being used in twos. There are some builds that I see but I have not tested because I'm really iffy on it, which is running either one of those two cards at three. And yeah, it works perfectly, 
considering the fact that if you're running satellite, you just you have to run one for one. And if you're running three of either one of those two, you have to max out on Thrasher as well, no matter how much of a dead card he can be in your hand. What these two have in common, Axolite targets, but at the same time, it's a lot, it's a little difficult than that. Let's say you revive a uh, satellite with Galaxy Zero. What then? Maybe Tribute Fodder, but don't get your hopes up because, you know, effects are negated, effects can't be activated, you know, you, you guys know the drill. But it's because of that, that's the only disadvantage that I can think of at the moment that Satellite lacks. And I'm not even going to bother looking, like I said, I'm not even going to bother looking at its stats because, yeah, we get it. No attack, no defense, but what it can do. Now, granted, Satellite was introduced to the TCG when the Galaxy support was introduced to the TCG as well. Because of the way these two work, I see no reason why you should run them side by side. Personally, I recommend two of either one. Little tip, and I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys know this, if you're going to run Satellite over Crusher, for the love of God, run one for one. You need to get rid of that dead drawn dragon. Once again, this is what people get confused with the most. Even I got confused with this in the very, very beginning. Satellite does not work with galaxies. Now I'm not saying that the, it doesn't work with the deck, what I'm saying is its level manipulation effect does not work on Galaxy Knight and Galaxy Wizard. It works on Galaxy Eyes, but it does not work with the aforementioned two. Going back to using two of either one, it's one of those cards where if you run one or the other at two, it really makes no difference. These are the cards that I like to say that it makes no difference to the deck whether you run them or not. You either run two or you run none at all. Now that we got them out of the way, let's talk about Photon Lizard. Photon Lizard is level 3, and yes, he is a Photon Monster, and yes, he is a Searcher, and I know I go on and on about how you need Searchers at 3, especially with the whole Stratos fiasco. But what some people seem to understand and not understand is that Photons have horrible, horrible Searchers. Photon Lizard, that is a Searcher, but this was another card that I ran at 2. I never ran this thing at 3, and I don't think anyone should ever run it at 3. Recommendations, if you're going to be running a uh, Lizard, I'd say run 2. If not 2, then don't bother running it at all. Now, here are the consistencies that Lizard does have, though. It's an Axolite target. It's a Zero target. And it's also a Photon Satellite target as well. But at the same time, why do you want to make both of them level 4 when you, already can, when you can already do that with Thrasher and Crusher? Its stats are weak, nobody cares, but it's at the same time, again, it's what it does. And what does it do? It searches. Now yes, this contradicts with what I'm saying here. Searchers need to be at 3. And this is indeed a searcher. And this is a searcher that I thought would be a blessing to the deck, but honestly, it's very inconsistent. Lizard searches out for a level 4 or lower Photon Monster. In other words, it's a Rota with a normal summon. Let's be real here, because I've done this, and I know what it's like. We mainly use Lizard to fetch for Thrasher, because that eats up our normal summon, and we need Field Presence. That's where Thrasher has the advantage over Cyber Dragon. But Galaxy Wizard, on the other hand, the advantage that that thing has over Lizard, despite the fact that they have a lot of similarities, because they use up the normal summon. But here's the thing, though. Wizard and Lizard eats up the normal summon. We know that because the only thing it searches for really is just Thrasher and Thrasher doesn't necessarily you know cut it for us especially when we're in a really tight spot. Wizard can fetch for what we actually do need in the next turn. Wizard searches for Expedition, for Zero, even sometimes the Dragon itself if we need a way out. If we have Trade-In right there then it doesn't matter if it eats up our normal summon because once we get rid of that dragon, it's out of our hands, and we have some more draw power. We got two cards that could potentially help us, and help us survive for the next turn. What Lizard does not have for that is that it's just Thrasher, a lone Thrasher with nothing else. Yes, you got back row there too, but again, this is Thrasher we're talking about here. He can only defend himself so much. He does not want to attack when someone else is on the field with him. Lizard wasn't a bad searcher, even at its time and still is not really a bad searcher, but it is a very strict one at that. It has more restrictions than Galaxy Wizard does. At least in the case of Galaxy Wizard, we can actually defend ourselves. Like, take a look, compare this example here. 
And this is going back to what I just said. Lizard fetches Thrasher, special Thrasher. Set whatever back row you got, depending if it can help you out or not, it doesn't matter. Summon Wizard, Tribute Wizard, search for a Galaxy card. Let's say Galaxy Zero, revive the dragon, good luck. Or if you already have Galaxy Zero, just revive a level 8 monster, either Knight or the dragon, and just use Wizard to fetch for Expedition, and there you go, Expedition, rank 8, right there. The same can be done with Wizard, because you know, that's a rank 4 right there, if you want to go for a Thrasher and then just revive somebody else with zero but again what I'm trying to say is that lizard is not necessarily you know galaxy material if you guys don't really want to take my word for it like that's okay but keep in mind that is a level 3 photon monster it's not that consistent with the galaxy build and you know what else is not that consistent with the galaxy build the other level 3 galaxy monster will be getting in primal origins this is where Lizard shines because skill drain does negate but it does not negate the graveyard and that's what Lizard can do. That's how Lizard escapes it. Now these are just my opinions. If you guys think otherwise, uh, be sure to let me know in the comment section below. I'd be more than happy to hear your side of these things. Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you in the next video. This is Quantum Light 62 and it's lights out.